going in there thinking I could do it my own way instead of listening to my corner and my coach and uh, the people that gave me the game plan of going into it in the beginning. Uh, all that just kind of went out the window and I tried to go in there and do my own thing. And unfortunately, when you try to go in there and do your own thing, this is the outcome that happens. You know, this is why you have a corner. This is why you have a coach. This is why you have people that care about you and you know, love you and want to see you do great. So you got to make sure you listen to those people. You know what I mean? Over there. So at, at what point did you kind of feel like you abandoned the game plan? Round one. Round one? Yep. I went back to the corner and told Coach, I said, I just, I don't feel right. You know, uh, I just keep getting in there and just kind of freezing up, you know. Keep forgetting that I have a long layoff, you know. I ain't going there to have fun. I went in there too business-oriented, you know, take care of business. Go in there, hit them, get rid of them, you know, let the fight in. And I didn't go in there and get loose, have fun, and be Blake. That's one thing I did not do was be Blake. Okay. All right. And Coach? At what point did you realize, you know, we might have a challenge tonight? Did, did you notice in round one where he was well, getting I, tight? After the first round, you know, I instructed him just to box, use his boxing skills because, you know, I've been in the game a long time and I already know he had lost a lot of weight. So you have to get warmed up. You have to get relaxed and loose. And he was trying to go for an early uh, home run, and that was the downfall for him trying to go too hard out the gate, throwing a lot of hard shots instead of just relaxing and let it come to him. And okay. I told him to constantly keep moving, and he wanted to do it that way. So you, you talk about the weight loss. So how much weight did you have to lose from the time that you found out about the fight? What kind of weight cut were you were you trying to make? About forty five to fifty pounds. And how much time were you talking? About four or five weeks, wow. six weeks. Wow. So it's a heck, that's a heck of a cut. So, did you go into that? Did you were you leery about that, or is it something you guys have done before? You were like, ah, we can handle this. Well, Rick has a history of doing that, and so at some point he's got to be more disciplined and more dedicated. He can't have one foot in and one foot out. He's got to put both his feet in, and he's got to focus on boxing if he's going to take this sport serious. And this is the outcome of it. You know, at the end of the day, uh, he's just got to go back to the drawing board and work on some of those things and keep his weight down, stay in the gym, don't get out of the gym, don't wait. You know, everybody has issues and problems, but you got to stick with the program. Okay. And then, you know, let, let's take something positive out of this. You know, sometimes in defeat, you win. So what is it that you can take out of this that's a positive for you, Blake? Listen to your fucking corner. Okay. So, and, and that'll be from training going forward and everything else? Yep. Okay. All right. Coach Massey, any words of encouragement that you can share or any anything that you saw that, you know what, we're going to build on this? This isn't the end of the road. Well, it's for a lot of fighters out there that's listening. Pay attention. You have to have both feet in and you have to stay in the gym. It's no day and night. You no know, partying, no clubbing, whatever. Not saying that he's doing that, but he just has to stay in the gym and stay focused among all the issues that go on in life because we all have the issues, but you have to stay in the gym. Yeah, because, I mean, I was on a 21-month a layoff, you know. This is 21 months of gaining weight, absolutely doing nothing. Not sparring, not hitting no bags, you know, no none problem. of that. You know what I mean? And then just an immediate comeback, you know. Uh, it Lesson learned, you know. Lesson learned. Okay. And how was sparring? Before we cut this off, how was sparring? Did you tough. hit? I got plenty of sparring. Okay. It was just that wasn't. You know, it was it was tough. You okay. Know, it was tough. It was rough. Okay. You know. So it was just more more time. Well, losing weight instead of yeah, honing the craft. He he won't he won't working on the things he needs to do to be visible in that ring. What he was doing was working on the weight fighting weight. He wasn't fighting his opponent. And a lot of you guys out there, this is the main reason why a lot of people lose fights because they don't stay in the gym. You got to stay in the gym and you got to focus on your training. Okay. All right. Well, this is Chris Williams, C-Boxing Info. Unfortunately, a tough night for Blake Mansfield, but he'll be back. And Coach Massey, Blake, thank you for talking to me, even in defeat. That's, you know, that's first class.